You think you're the victim of medical malpractice, and now the question becomes, why doesn't the hospital want you taking photographs of you in the intensive care unit? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me as I share with you this remarkable information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law in the state of New York. Today I'm coming to you from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I had an opportunity to speak to some really smart attorneys at a seminar here, and I just want to share this quick information with you. You know, when you're in the hospital, you'll find that if you are taking pictures, people are going to start asking a lot of questions. Why are you taking pictures? Why do you need to take pictures? Why are all these people in here? The reality is that you are simply documenting and you have every right to document exactly what's happening to you, whether it's by photographs, whether it's by movies, whether it's by recordings, whether it's by handwritten notes. You have every opportunity to do that. And for them to come in for the hospital, whether it's risk management, security guards, nurses, or somebody else to say, you can't take pictures in the intensive care unit, the question you should be asking is, why not? What is the problem that I can't take and document what's going on with me? Why can't I document what tubes I have going in, or what bandages I have, or the medications that I'm taking? I need to protect myself in order to make sure that I'm getting the correct treatment. And how can I do this best? And the best way to do it is by documenting exactly what's going on. The only reason that the hospital will not want you to take photographs and document what's happening is because they are afraid, rightfully so, that you're going to turn around and sue them. But the reality is, even if you do bring a lawsuit against the hospital, the key question is, why can't you document what's going on with you at that time, in the intensive care unit, or on a floor, or in a particular room? There should be absolutely no reason why the hospital is preventing you from taking photographs of your condition at that moment. In fact, it will likely help you. You know why? Because this way you will be able to show to anybody, whether an attorney, whether a jury, or somebody else, exactly what's going on with you at that particular time, at that particular moment. And you know the phrase, a photograph is worth a thousand words? Well, what's a movie worth? Now, clearly they don't want people videotaping conversations of doctors. Obviously the doctors are going to get defensive, and nobody's asking you to do that. But what is wrong with taking a photograph of you sitting in the hospital bed showing the pain that you're in? What's wrong showing the fact that you now had significant surgery and now have a cast sitting on your leg? But the reality is, you simply have to explain, I need to document exactly what's going on with me right now. My memory may not be good, I don't have family, I don't have anybody to advocate for me on my behalf. And the only way I can make sure that things are going to get done is if I document what's happening. So why do I share this quick little video with you? I share it with you because I want you to understand exactly what can happen when you are a patient in a hospital and now you try and document what's happening to you. You're going to get a lot of questions, especially when they recognize and see that you're taking photographs, writing notes, making an effort to document what's happening with you. You know, in all likelihood, you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened in New York and you do have legal questions about your medical care, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do every single day and I welcome your call. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. Well, that's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.